Welcome, gamers, to an epic journey through the digital realms of 2023, as we bid farewell to another incredible year in the world of PC gaming. It's time to unveil the undisputed champions, the pulse-pounding masterpieces, and the absolute must-play titles that have defined the gaming landscape. Get ready for an adrenaline-fueled countdown as we dive into the top 20 PC games of 2-0 to 3, from breathtaking graphics to mind-bending gameplay innovations. This list is a celebration of the creativity, passion, and innovation that the gaming industry has to offer. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to the gaming scene, there's something here for everyone. So, buckle up, grab your favorite gaming snacks, and let's embark on a thrilling adventure together as we explore the most captivating, groundbreaking, and downright addictive PC games that made 2023 a year to remember. This is the ultimate countdown of the top 20 PC games of 2023. Let's get started with The Finals. The Finals is a free-to-play first-person shooter game. The game is set in a virtual reality game show, where players compete in teams on maps based on real-world locations. The game features a destructible environment, where players can use the terrain and objects to their advantage or disadvantage. The game also has a sponsorship system, where players can customize their avatars and gain rewards from different brands. The game has different modes and tournaments that you can join, such as casual, ranked, custom, and seasonal. The game is very fun and addictive, as it offers a lot of variety and challenge. The game is also very immersive, as it has stunning graphics, realistic physics, and amazing sound effects. Moving on to our next gaming masterpiece Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is a survival horror game that was released in 2005 and remade in 2023 by Capcom. The game follows Leon S. Kennedy, a special agent who is sent to rescue the president's daughter, Ashley Graham, from a cult in Spain. The game features a third-person perspective, a dynamic camera, and an over-the-shoulder aiming system. The game also introduces a new type of enemy, the Ganados, who are infected by a parasite called Las Plagas. The game has various modes, such as the main story, separate ways, and the mercenaries. The game is praised for its gameplay, graphics, and atmosphere. Next up on our countdown is Lethal Company. Lethal Company is a cooperative horror game for up to four players. Set in a retrofuturism, players work as contracted employees of the company. They are able to communicate with each other through the in-game proximity chat, as well as proximity text chat. Players are tasked with visiting abandoned moons in order to collect as much scrap as possible. Each moon has one facility containing procedurally generated rooms, alongside scrap, hazardous traps, and malicious creatures. Players must work quickly and return to their ship before midnight, or it will leave without them. Stepping into a whole new gaming realm, we have System Shock. System Shock is a first-person shooter, survival horror, and action-adventure game set inside a large, multi-level space station. The player explores, combats enemies, and solves puzzles. Progress is largely non-linear, and the game is designed to allow for emergent gameplay. The story is set in the year 2072, where the player takes on the role of a hacker who infiltrates a space station called Citadel Station. The station is taken over by a malevolent artificial intelligence named Shodan, who has turned the station's inhabitants into mutants and cyborgs. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is a sequel to the best-selling game Remnant from the Ashes. It's a three-person cooperative shooter where players must stop an evil from destroying reality itself. The game features even more deadly worlds, unique loot, and ghastly beasts. Players can play through the entire game solo. Though the game also supports a three-player cooperative multiplayer mode, the game is a looter-shooter souls-like and features a branching quest line and dynamically generated dungeons. This means that each playthrough is unique, and no two players will have the same experience. As we venture forward, our next contender is Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a first-person action-adventure game set in the world of Pandora. Players take control of a Navi orphan raised and trained by the Arta Corporation. The game's journey takes players across the western frontier, a never-before-seen region of Pandora inhabited by Navi tribes. Players must embark on a journey to discover their origins and organize the local Navi tribes to fight back against the Arda as they attempt to exploit the natural resources of the western frontier. Without further ado, let's dive into Dead Space Remake. Dead Space is a survival horror game set on a mining spaceship overrun by deadly monsters called necromorphs. The player controls engineer Isaac Clarke as he navigates the spaceship and fights the necromorphs while struggling with growing psychosis. 
The gameplay of Dead Space is focused on combat and exploration. Isaac can use a variety of weapons to fight the necromorphs, including a plasma cutter, a line gun, and a pulse rifle. He can also use his spacesuit stasis module to slow down objects and his kinetic module to lift objects and use them as projectiles. The game also features a variety of puzzles that Isaac must solve in order to progress. Prepare for a change of scenery with our next pick Mortal Kombat 1. Mortal Kombat is a fighting game where seven warriors enter a tournament to save Earthrealm from Outworld. The game introduced the iconic five-button control scheme and gory finishing moves called Fatalities. The story is divided into four acts, with each chapter focusing on a single character. In the final chapter, the player can choose a character to fight against Shao Kahn. Shifting gears, let's explore the world of Street Fighter VI. Street Fighter VI is a fighting game. The game features three main modes, Fighting Ground, World Tour, and Battle Hub. Fighting Ground is a classic versus mode, with a structure reminiscent of past Street Fighter titles. World Tour is a campaign mode, where you create your own character. Battle Hub is the game's online platform. The game story mode follows the journey of Luke, a new character in the series, as he travels the world competing in fighting tournaments. Along the way, he encounters a variety of new and returning characters, including Ru, Ken, Chun-Li, and Guile. Now, for something completely different. Let's talk about Sons of the Forest. Sons of the Forest is a survival horror simulator game. The player takes on the role of a mercenary who is tasked with finding a missing billionaire on a remote island. The island is inhabited by cannibals and other dangers. The player must find resources to survive, build a shelter, and fight off enemies. The game can be played solo or with friends. As one epic saga concludes, another begins with Diablo 4. Diablo 4 takes place in the fictional world of Sanctuary where the player character must battle the forces of evil and stop the return of the demonic Lilith. The game is set decades after the events of Diablo 3 and features a dark and desolate open world. Players can choose from five different character classes to play as, each with their own unique abilities and playstyles. The game features a variety of different enemies and bosses to fight, as well as a wide range of weapons and armor to collect. Diablo 4 is a challenging and rewarding game that will keep players entertained for hours on end. Moving seamlessly to our next game, we have Starfield. Starfield is a role-playing video game. The game is set in the year 2330, 30 years after a colony ship called the Usk's Constellation departs from Earth in search of a new home for humanity. The player takes on the role of a newly recruited member of the Constellation, who must explore the galaxy, complete quests, and make choices that will shape the future of humanity. The game features a variety of gameplay elements, including first-person shooter combat, space combat, and exploration. Players will be able to customize their character's appearance, abilities, and equipment. They will also be able to choose to join one of several factions, each with their own unique goals and objectives. Transitioning from fantasy to reality, our next title is The Outlast Trials. The Outlast Trials is a first-person survival horror game set in the Cold War era. Players take on the role of test subjects for the Murkoff Corporation, who are subjected to physical and mental ordeals in a secret facility. The game can be played solo or online, and players must use stealth to progress, as they cannot directly fight against enemies. Hold on to your seats as we journey into the universe of Armored Core VI Fires of Rubicon. Armored Core VI Fires of Rubicon is a mecha game set in a future where humanity has developed interstellar travel. The story begins on the frontier planet of Rubicon 3, where a substance called coral was discovered that could be used as both an energy source and a data conduit. The player takes on the role of a mercenary who must fight for control of coral with corporations and other factions. The game features a variety of mechs that can be customized using credits and parts that can be adjusted to better approach a wide variety of combat missions. While the main attraction is a mission-based, single-player story campaign, player versus player online multiplayer is also available. From one gaming marvel to the next, we present Robocop Rogue City. Robocop Rogue City is a first-person shooter set in Old Detroit where you play as Robocop. Your mission is to clear the city of criminals, conduct investigations, and can also give out parking tickets. The game is set between Robocop 2 and Robocop 3, and features in Lewis as Robocop's police partner. You'll be given various side quests throughout the game and can choose how to solve them. The outcome of these quests varies depending on your choices. Our gaming odyssey continues with Lies of P. Lies of P is a Souls-like action-adventure game set in the fictional, Belle Poke era French city of Crack. 
You play as Pinocchio, a mechanoid puppet on a quest to become human. A mysterious voice guides you through the plagued city of Crack, where you must fight untold horrors, untangle the unfathomable secrets of the city's elites, and choose whether to confront predicaments with the truth or weave lies to overcome them. But the excitement doesn't stop here. Let's delve into Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2 is a survival horror game that picks up 13 years after the events of the original. The story follows best-selling novelist Alan Wake, who has been trapped in an alternate dimension for 13 years. As he attempts to escape by writing a horror story involving an FBI special agent named Saga Anderson, the game incorporates detective elements. When playing as Saga, players can always access an enemy-free space dubbed the Mind Place. Changing gears, our attention now turns to Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy is an action RPG set in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Players take on the role of a student who holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. The game features a vast open world to explore, a deep character customization system, and a variety of magical abilities to learn. Players will also be able to attend classes, brew potions, and explore the castle and its grounds. The game is set in the 1800s, a century before the events of the Harry Potter books, and will feature a new story and cast of characters. Bringing a fresh perspective to our list, we have Assassin's Creed Mirage. Assassin's Creed Mirage is a stealth action-adventure game set in 9th century Baghdad, where you play as Basim, a street thief who joins the Hidden Ones to fight the Order of the Ancients. You have to explore a dynamic and destructible city, use various tools and weapons, and uncover your mysterious past and destiny. The game is a tribute to the original Assassin's Creed, with a focus on assassinations, parkour, and a rich story. And now, for a game that's been making waves, let's talk about Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 is a story-driven, turn-based RPG set in the Forgotten Realms, the world of Dungeons and Dragons. The game follows a group of adventurers who are trying to survive in a world that has been ravaged by a mysterious plague. The game's story is complex and branching, with many different choices that can lead to different outcomes. The gameplay is challenging and rewarding, with a deep combat system and a variety of skills and abilities to use. Baldur's Gate 3 is a great game for fans of RPGs and Dungeons and Dragons. It's a challenging and rewarding experience with a great story and a lot of content to explore. And that, my fellow gamers, concludes our epic journey through the top 20 PC games of 2023. What a year it has been for the gaming community, filled with awe-inspiring adventures, mind-bending challenges, and unforgettable moments that will echo through the digital corridors of time. We hope you enjoyed this countdown as much as we did. But hey, the conversation doesn't end here. Share your thoughts on the list in the comments below. What were your personal favorites, and which games do you think should have made the cut? If you crave more gaming goodness, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel for future gaming content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things gaming. As we eagerly await the next wave of gaming marvels, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for joining us on this adventure. Until next time, may your frame rates be high, your loading times low, and your victories plentiful. Happy gaming, and we'll catch you in the next video.